to show you a cool trick on how to change your spark plug and spark plug wires when they get stuck because they're old and the heat has welded them on. Now in the Suburban when you go down you can see here's a spark plug wire coming off the coil and it goes down to the spark plug. Getting the top off is real easy. You just twist it with your hand a little, that breaks the seal and pull it down. Off it comes. Even a cat could do it if they had opposable thumbs, but they don't. <laughs> but the other end here at the engine they generally get so tight from the heat of the exhaust manifold, they're really hard to get out. So here's a big trick. First buy your spark plugs and the spark plug wires before you do the work, because odds are you're going to destroy this, and even if you don't destroy it, the inside will often crack when you pull it off, and then it'll start misfiring. So get new wires first. Then get big needle nose pliers like this, stick them on the engine, and wedge it under the little metal piece here, and then when you twist it, it breaks the seal. See how it's turning around? That breaks the seal. Then once you spun it around, you grab it as tight as you can and pull. And as you can see, I ended up ripping the wire off of the end. That's why you always get a new set of wires with this design. Make sure you get good ones. Don't buy cheap ones. Buy quality ones. And it doesn't matter that you bend it a little here. That's basically a heat and ground shield. The new wire goes on it and it snaps on fine. Then you just use your socket, take out the old spark plug, then get a quality new spark plug. And here's another tip. All these modern spark plugs have a coating on them. You don't need to put any kind of coating, any kind of lubrication. They go on straight and then you torque them in nice and snug. Uh, you just get them nice and snug. Some guys use torque wrenches, but really, I'm working on a cold engine and if you just pull it nice and snug, they're going to stay in there. Then you get the spark plug wiring in and you push it in until uh, it slides right and wiggle it a little so it snaps on the end. And the other end just goes on the coil. Same thing, just twist it a little, make it nice and snug. And of course change all the spark plugs and all the wires. Even if you have say a misfire in cylinder number six, the rest of them are all worn. Change them all out and you don't have to think about it for years. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit my website, scottykilmer.com.